So you want to come a SQL developer fast. You've been learning and you've been trying to get grasp of things and you're getting impatient or you need some money or you just want to really take things to the next level as fast as possible. But you're struggling. You don't know where to go. You actually getting lost. You don't have a plan. You just want to make sure that, hey, let me make sure I'm going to the fastest way possible to become a SQL developer. Well, I got three things today I'm going to cover for you guys so that you can come a SQL developer as fast as possible. And we're going to get right into it. Let me explain. All right, guys, SQL is one of those programming languages that you just got to get into to actual learn. Yeah, at the beginning, do the fundamentals, learn the lingo, just learn select statements, all the different objects, know how to move around, know the basic fundamentals. But I want you guys to jump in as quickly as possible. So number one, I want you guys to start creating reports. Creating reports is a safe way to actually learn SQL, actually start to do real world projects that a company would need, something you can put on your resume, and then you can get comfortable using things because just let's be honest guys once we're learning programming we just don't want to screw up anything we don't want to get lost we want to keep the scope as tight as possible as small as possible so you can learn and build off of that reports do that for you you're mainly working with select statements and you're selecting data from each of the tables you're learning how to do joins you're learning where the data model is you know where the main tables are and all that stuff like that you get a chance to um, create store procedures that's the core essentials of a uh, SQL developer just getting comfortable using those objects and you kind of expand from there a lot of times you guys are just in the books you're just learning you don't get any hands-on and you don't really grasp the problem solving the moving around just to know how to be impactful as a SQL developer this is the first step to actually get started guys this is actually how I got started by the way I wasn't a full-fledged SQL developer where I went in and learned about triggers and all this different stuff creating tables just more like like select 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 that's all I did select statements select statements select statements and you will be shocked if you can learn the select statements that's about 80% of what you're gonna be doing um, with other um, statements in SQL as well it's just you're gonna be doing update deletes and things like that but the core essentials is actually selecting that data out and just learning the data model learning the objects learning how to do joins learning how to optimize your store procedures so that they can run effectively and start you start getting to the advanced concepts like indexes and all that stuff but again as you create those reports you're gonna have to loop through certain tables you're gonna have to do those fundamentals that's what's going to get you guys in the game to be a SQL developer so do, do me a favor guys what have you been doing so far to become a SQL developer have you been um, learning? Have you been just reading books, courses? Comment below so that we can start a conversation so that I can know exactly what you guys are doing so that we can put you on the fastest path to be a SQL developer and put you guys in a position to win. So just put that in the comment section so that we can start a conversation. Number two, guys, code reviews. This is so important that you guys understand what code's doing and also reading the code because you're subconsciously learning the best practices or at least that per program style of coding. And you can follow that particular model. I always tell you guys the best way to learn how to do things is to look at stuff that's already built because it kind of puts you in the scope of what you need to do next and how to actually go by um, adding modules to a particular program. Program. And this is what's going to help you guys get out of that mindset of I got to create everything from scratch, create, 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 because as you're reading code, you can actually see, hey, in this form it's leveraging this function it's leveraging this library It's not creating everything from scratch. You can you're going to start to see those trends and those development styles and then you're going to tailor it for that particular project, especially as a beginner. You need to learn how to do this really quick and then not only just reading code, you actually having code review with with other developers as well you know sit in on those code reviews a lot of it is something that you don't have to do but you pick up on um, different uh, ways to actually solve a problem and different ways is going to be unique to that particular project you guys are grasping all that information without having to learn it on the fly or do it in the midst of something's broke 
So that's the name of the game, just understanding um, the code reviews. And I'm going to be quite frank, guys. I wasn't a big fan of code reviews initially because I was thinking that I'm sitting here wasting my time. I can actually be writing code and learning that way. But again, we're talking about a beginner program. You're trying to become a developer as fast as possible. You need to learn what application stack that that company's using and what style of program language because that's the that's the that's the double-edged sword of programming guys you got multiple ways to solve a problem and you got multiple ways to solve a problem so whatever way you use to solve a problem let's make sure we stay consistent throughout at least that particular application preferably that code base and then if you have an exception to that you can know when to use that exception that way you can communicate that with all the developers on the team and everybody can follow that particular style everybody comment stuff different everybody go by doing arrays and loops a little different their approaches there i just want to make sure everybody's on the same page about what the um strategy for your particular um, team is so that everything can be consistent the worst thing in the world you can see is inconsistent code and there's no rhyme or reason to it you do it this way one time and then you don't do it that way you change the variable name here and you, <laughs> don't do that guys that's a really good way to identify rookies and to make things a lot harder for you than you would normally do we talk about this in step number two in our seven step guide because at the end of the day as you're doing projects you have to be more consistent guys and if you haven't already go ahead it's free go check that out and also we go into detail in our 30-day developer course as well links are below for that so that you can get to being a SQL developer as quick as possible guys and we put you right there in that 30-day guide so links below to all that good stuff go check that out and I'm um, gonna put you on the path to success all right, guys, so you've been creating reports, you've been doing code reviews for it. Now, it's finally time to start creating CRUD apps. CRUD apps, what you're thinking? It's just a regular app that just looks at a database to do basic database functions, the updates, deletes, the selects, just the basic stuff that you would do in all applications. It's just that in a smaller form factor. Give you an opportunity to update a record, pull a record, create a record, all that good stuff. Because at the end of the day, that's what a enterprise application is just doing at scale. It just got different views, different areas that is updating. And it's got thousands of tables that is updating. But if you boil it down to the core essentials, a CRUD app, a small, small, small CRUD app is actually what it's doing. And once you understand that concept, it just scales from there. It's the same thing times a thousand. And um, that's why I want you guys to kind of learn. And um, a lot of times, I can understand as a beginning developer, especially with the SQL side, you, you're overthinking it and you're just trying to learn anything and everything and all at one time. And if that is what works for you and you had success doing that, continue to do that. I'm never gonna tell you to change your learning style, but if you're struggling, and you're just really trying to figure out a better way a more effective way to learn code so that you can get more confident you need to change your approach and really think about things in a different way and i try to limit my scope of what i'm learning and have it specific to a particular project and then expand from there that's usually my learning style for most people unless they've already had success doing whatever they're doing and then we just find a way to optimize that to let them be more efficient at that guys but at the end of the day guys it's really up to you and what you're gonna do as far as just becoming a SQL developer but you have made the first step just actually understanding that hey once you know the fundamentals you get started and start to get that hands-on and get out of the course learning phase and actually doing real world projects you are ahead of the game and you're on track to be a developer in the fastest and more effective way guys so if you haven't already like subscribe to the content if you have additional questions comment below and go ahead and check out that seven step that free seven step guide guys links links below for that and if you already um enrolled in the set free seven step guide i have links to the 30 day developer course below as well guys and uh, what i'll do for you guys as well i'll put links to the seven step guide here on the screen now i'll see you guys in the next video peace